So we're getting to the Battle of Nantwich. Nantwich was the only town in Cheshire still had, held by the Parliamentarians. So the Parliamentarians apparently had a garrison. It's garrison number 2,000 men under Colonel George Booth. Colonel George Booth had 2,000 men garrisoned at Nantwich. A town is called Nantwich and was well supplied. So it's kind of like the headquarters up in the north. Byron besieged the town on January 18th, 1644. Byron launched an attack, but Byron was defeated, suffering 500 casualties, together with losses from sickness, desertions, and casualties from the earlier fighting in Cheshire. Byron's forces shrunk to a total size of about 3,800 men. So what was it? 6,000? 6, 6,000 to 3,800? To what to what? Byron nevertheless continued the siege of Nantwich. Thomas Fairfax, the... Eventually going to be the betrayer, the future betrayer, the Judas, uh, Ac Acari Acaris, Judas Acariot, Sir Thomas Fairfax, and his father, Lord Fairfax, had been deceased in Hull in the second half of 1643, H-U-L-L, -L, Hull. As Thomas's cavalry were of little use in a siege, they were ferried across the River Humber, to reinforce Parliamentarian cavalry from the Eastern Association of Counties commanded by Oliver Cromwell. Together they had won several victories, culminating in the Battle of Winsby, which secured most of Lincolnshire for Parliament in response to Bereton's, Bereton's urgent appeal to for reinforcements. The Committee of Both Kingdoms, the Parliamentarian body with Scottish Covenanter representation, which was responsible for the conduct of the war, ordered... Thomas Fairfax to proceed to Manchester. The Committee of Both Kingdoms? Why is it always like the Committee of Safety that's like the main junta? On December 29, 1643, Thomas set out to cross the Pennines in harsh winter weather with 1,800 cavalry. On arriving at Manchester, he found the infantry of the parliamentarian garrison to be so ragged that he reportedly burst into tears. Oh my gosh. Nevertheless, nevertheless, Byron set out from Manchester on January 21st, 1644 to relieve Nantwich.